congratulations on this. It is such an impactful uh, film. Why this, did you decide to do this now? Okay, so, um, so we filmed in 2020 when we were really in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. And for us, it was very important to do it now and not to wait. And so the director is in France, so he couldn't join you. I'm the co-writer. Um, so he he called me um, and he said, Laura, he knew me because we met a movie before um, as a, and I was an actress. And he said, I, I wanted this movie, could you be Jesse? And he had like a treatment about the idea and I said, I write it. I said yes. I want to. I would love to. And can I write it with you? And um, and so we really jump into it. But almost every day was changing because it was at the. So I was actually we wrote and we wanted to film right away. And Mustafa said earlier in an other interview, it is normally when you do a war movie, like you don't do the war movie in the middle of the war, right? You wait the end of the war and then you make a movie five years later. And he wanted to do it right away. And um, I wanted to do it right away as well for different reasons. Um, for me, when COVID started, I was very, I was very moved and very, um, I was really, I, I didn't have COVID at the time in 2020. Mm -hmm. um, but I, seven years earlier, I had been in intensive care. I had a heavy lung surgery. So I knew exactly, I was reading about all these people, that what they had, the very strong COVID. And I completely knew, you know, when you are intubated, when you can breathe, when you can lie down. And I, I, I felt all of this and I, oh my God, this is, I, what can I do to help? And I wasn't sure, I started to do a little videos about, um, uh, you know, how to open your lung, to breathe back what, once you had, you know. And then when Mustafa called me, I said, okay, you need to do that. This is what we're gonna do to help in a way, because I'm not a nurse, I'm not a doctor. And this is what we're going to do. Um, and yeah, it was crazy because we did it in the middle of it and we didn't want to wait. We wanted to do it right away. Yeah, and uh, inside this COVID story, there's a, there's a, there's a really touching um, romance. Uh, how did you build that? Because it seems so organic, so, so true. Yes, so this was the original idea was really the story of this couple mm -hmm. with everything that's happening around them, Kobe. Um, so this was the original idea. Um, and there was actually the actor. This is what he, I was attracted by the, the COVID thing because I wanted to do something for all these people and for all the nurses and, and him. I know he got on the movie because of the love story. We, again, we got mm -hmm. it for different reasons. Um, but yeah, that's the core of the story, that their relationship and how, yeah, I guess how a relationship can be impacted in a time of crisis by everything around mm -hmm. and maybe strengthened in a way. And yeah, that was the core, yes. Mm -hmm. And when you're isolated, but the world is really changing around you. Like, yeah, it hasn't changed like this in hundreds of years, right? The, the, mm -hmm. I think this, two or three months in New York, so much was happening um, and so much changed and really changed forever. So many things, right? So. It's a very fascinating way that these characters interact and how they, they find ways to be with each other even through the most hard times. Uh, how do you prepare for that? How do you prepare yourself to get impacted by by the emotions that these characters are are having to feel um well i wrote the script so i almost said i prepared what i was writing because i was talking to so many healthcare workers um that i really felt um almost inhabited by all these real life people i mean just Jesse is not one specific person, but she's based on a lot of real people. And I remember in particular, I was still talking to many people and we were already studying filming. And I, I had this talk with um, a young doctor who was an intern um, in the worst hospital in New York City in the Bronx, where he saw many young people dying. They had no rooms in, 
corridors and, and really it was like a war zone, right? And I talked to him, I was on the set and he told me these stories. And then at some point I even remember I went, uh, I put them on speaker so everybody could hear. And I said, oh my God, this is so I have to rewrite. And so I rewrote a scene to put some of this into it. So I think just um, in a sense, I was doing so many things. It's an indie movie. <laughs> like, uh, you know, I was doing, like I was really focusing on the writing and uh, that was my prep, I guess. And um, almost when, when it was action, it was kind of, ah, oh, the release. And I can just, you know, be the character and I'll have to worry about a hundred things because we shot so fast and I had to do so many things. Mustafa, the director, was also the DP because we were, we were a very small crew. It was when nobody wanted to work. It was in the middle of COVID and it was, everybody was scared and I was scared. I, I was scared too. So, so Mustafa was a DP and we had a sound engineer and I was doing all the set decoration and the clothes and my makeup and everything. So I was still focused on like the, okay, the set and you know, like, you know, like a location and everything that, that I wasn't, you know. And then when we were filming it was, I guess my prep was done before with uh, talking to so many healthcare workers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, throughout watching it, there was moments where I had to pause and it, it got very emotional for me as a viewer. For you, both writing and acting, the how did that impact you and, and you know how do you feel now coming out of this um yeah for me as well it was very um very emotional sorry i have my daughter coming it's um um so yes it was very um yeah, for me as well. It was definitely, there were moments they were very emotional. It got me back into very personal things. Um, as I said, I experienced a lot of personal things. So yes, it was very, um, there was a couple of things that were very difficult for me emotionally. Yes. And bringing this to dances with films, it's the 25th anniversary. It's at the Chinese theater. What does that mean for you? Uh, you know, once you've done all this work, bringing it to such an iconic location. Oh, I'm super happy. Yeah, the goal. I want people to watch the movie. So of course, I'm I'm very happy. And this is our West Coast theatrical premiere. So I'm, um, yeah, I want to make the audience and see what, yeah, how, yeah, hear what they have to think to say about the movie and meet the. Yes, meet the public and yes. Um, yeah, it's great. And we are in Los Angeles, Hollywood. Um, I'm very excited. It's a, it's a great festival. And I've been uh, yesterday and to the day before I've seen movies as well. And very interesting. Awesome. Well, congratulations. It's an amazing film. And enjoy the rest of your time at Dance with Films. Thank you. Thank you.